Good morning, it's a beautiful day to be alive. Welcome back to Fit with Wit for the new year. Ooh, ooh. I'm super excited about today's video because today I am bringing you 10 super simple and super easy healthier food swaps that you can implement into your everyday lifestyle. I still to this day find that the nutrition part of living a healthy lifestyle is the most difficult. I can hit the gym every day, but you know, it's the nutrition that I just still until this day struggle with. A lot of these food swaps have helped me tremendously along my fitness journey and I hope that they will help you. I have condiments, snacks, super simple swaps that you can make that will fit better into your daily macro intake. I hope that you guys enjoy today's video. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and never get to Subscribe so you never miss a fit tip with wit again. Now, with this being said, today is day one of Invisalign for your girl. And I'm having a hard time talking. <laughs> so if my voice sounds a little bit weird, that's why. Okay, love you. Let's jump into this video. Let's kick it off with a breakfast favorite, which happens to be yogurt. I used to eat yogurt every single morning for breakfast. I always thought I was choosing the right here by having yogurt for breakfast. Come to find out, yogurt is jam-packed with a whole lot of sugar. A lot of it. <laughs> Alright, so this is a very popular yogurt on the market from Noosa. My biggest concern with yogurt is the amount of sugar added. 8 ounces of this has not only 30 grams of carbs but also 29 grams of sugar and a super easy and delicious swap is to switch to Greek yogurt. This Greek yogurt has zero added sugar, zero artificial sweeteners, and to top it all off, it has 15 grams of protein. If you are eating a sugar-filled yogurt every morning, make that switch to Greek yogurt. My favorite is from Dan, and this is the Oikos Triple Zero. While we're talking about yogurt, please let me know your favorite vegan yogurt below. Listen, I've tried a whole lot of them, and haven't found one I liked yet. <laughs> Let's talk about a classic, which is peanut butter. Everybody loves some good peanut butter. Now the issue with a lot of peanut butters on the market is they have so many unnecessary added ingredients. So the ingredient list in this right here, your classic peanut butter on the shelf at the grocery store contains peanuts, cane sugar, cocoa butter, vanilla, palm oil, and salt. Whereas this bad boy, Organic peanut butter, creamy, no salt, Valencia peanut butter. This is from Trader Joe's. The only ingredient in this guy is organic Valencia peanuts. Super easy to make the switch from an ingredient packed peanut butter to the super simple peanut butter with only one ingredient because that's all we need, peanuts. All right, now I absolutely love pasta. I have pasta very very frequently, but a lot of pasta at the grocery store is very processed. It has a lot of ingredients in it. A super simple swap from your processed pasta is to make the switch to red lentil pasta. Not only is it going to have a bit more protein, but the ingredients on this are very simple. Organic red lentil flour and that is it. Red lentil pasta is very widely available now. I see it at almost every single grocery store. So instead of picking up this guy, super processed, a lot of ingredients, I definitely recommend checking out red lentil pasta. It does stay a little bit more firm, but that's the only difference. It tastes exactly the same. Maybe just a little bit firmer of noodles, which I actually prefer. Now there's absolutely nothing wrong with pasta and carbs, you guys know. I love them, I love a good carb. But if you are eating at a deficit and you have less carbs to work with throughout the day, I highly recommend making the switch from pasta like this to zucchini veggie noodles. All you need is a spiralizer and zucchini or you can buy it pre-spiralized like so. Not only will this help you cut back on carbs but also you are getting a whole lot of veggies in. <laughs> a super simple swap, toss some marinara sauce. On this guy, you'll never even be able to tell the difference, okay? This shakes me. Now I am an absolute sucker for condiments, okay? Ranch used to be my BFF. Oh man, who doesn't love ranch? It's so good. Quite a few years ago, I made the switch from your classic Hidden Valley Ranch to Greek yogurt 
Ranch. This is made with Greek yogurt. There are no artificial colors or flavors and no preservatives. 73% fewer calories, 84% less fat. Two tablespoons of a classic ranch puts you at 140 calories. Two tablespoons of the classic ranch yogurt dressing puts you at 45 calories. I think a lot of issues with condiments is the caloric density that this has. Two tablespoons? 140 calories? That's nothing. It's super easy to get carried away with condiments like this. You know, you're just dousing your salad in it. Before you know it, you have eight tablespoons of ranch on your salad and the calories on this will add up really quickly. So definitely make the switch to a yogurt dressing. It's gonna save you a whole lot of calories that add up super quick. Another super simple condiment switch is to make the switch from your normal sour cream to plain Greek yogurt. This is going to add a little bit more protein to your diet. If you put Greek yogurt and sour cream in front of me, I wouldn't be able to taste a difference. It's weird, I don't get it. But another super simple switch that you can make. I would like to preface with this swap by letting you know that carbs are not the enemy and I love rice and I personally eat rice every single freaking day. Okay, jasmine rice is my favorite. This is another swap for my girls that are intaking a little bit less carbs in their everyday diet. They're eating in a deficit. It is super simple to make the switch from rice to cauliflower rice. Now cauliflower rice is all the rage on the market right now. I personally don't love it. I'll be brutally honest with you. I don't love it. I don't think it's bad but I don't love it. If you are trying to eat less carbs in a day, you want more veggies in your diet, definitely make the switch to cauliflower rice. One cup of jasmine rice puts you at 210 calories and 46 grams of carbs. Three fourths cup of cauliflower rice puts you at 25 calories and four grams of carbs. Now, prior to living a healthier lifestyle, chips were my downfall, specifically salt and vinegar chips. Your normal everyday chip is super processed. It has a lot of trans fats in it. It's not the healthiest option, especially when you have something like pop chips on the market, okay? These are pop chips in salt and vinegar flavor, same as this. These are my weakness, okay? I buy the little individual packets off of Amazon and holy guacamole, it's hard to control myself. 28 grams of your classic Lay's chips puts you at 160 calories, 15 carbs, and 10 grams of fat. This entire bag is only 100 calories, 3.5 grams of fat, and this puts you at 15 grams of carbs. Pop Chips has a few other flavors. Barbecue is one of my favorite. Oh, ho, ho. I buy the big bag and the barbecue flavor. So if you love chips like your girl does, make the switch to Pop Chips. It'll rock your world. No added preservatives, no artificial flavors, no synthetic colors, no cholesterol, zero grams of trans fat, and half the fat of fried chips. Let's talk about soy sauce. Now this is one that I learned pretty later on in my healthy lifestyle, my fitness journey. My biggest concern with your regular soy sauce is the amount of sodium that is in this. One tablespoon puts you at 960 milligrams of sodium. If you love soy sauce, have no fear. Coconut aminos is going to be the perfect swap. This one has 960 milligrams of sodium. Coconut aminos has 300 milligrams. So a huge jump from this bad boy to this. They taste the exact same. You won't even be able to tell a difference. I actually prefer the taste of these now. This is also so popular now and you can get it at almost every single grocery store right next to the soy sauce, so super easy swap. Now let's talk about ranch one more time because I seriously used to be obsessed with ranch. I thought if I was dipping my carrots and my celery in any of my favorite vegetables in this guy, it had to have been healthy. But like I said, those two tablespoons is 140 calories and that adds up super quickly. So if you love dipping your veggies in ranch, I highly recommend making the swap over to hummus. Hummus has a lot more protein. It is made from chickpeas. This is my favorite flavor, roasted red pepper. It is a super simple swap. They also have a million and 10 flavors of hummus now. So explore, have some fun with that. And finally, I know I've talked about this so much, but I understand the struggles of being so in love and addicted to regular soda. My issue with regular soda is the amount of sugar and calories that is in it. So this one bottle of soda not only has 240 calories, but 65 
grams of sugar and carbs. It's appalling. It's appalling how much sugar is in this bad boy. I love caffeine and there are so many other ways to get caffeine, whether you drink coffee or for myself, I love pre-workout before I go to the gym. I cannot encourage you enough to get off of regular soda. If you love the fizzy and the carbonation that soda gives you and that's why you love it so much, me, I just love the caffeine and sugar high that I got off of it. But if you love the carbonation and the fizziness, then I cannot recommend enough sparkling water, flavored sparkling water, because plain sparkling water is absolutely disgusting. But the flavored? Too good. My favorite is Spindrift. Every single flavor I've tried from this brand I absolutely love. Super limited ingredients and zero sugar added. There's also only eight calories in this compared to the 240 right here. The only ingredients in this can of sparkling water is carbonated water, raspberry juice, cranberry juice, raspberry puree, and fresh lemon juice. If I know what every ingredient is on a label, I feel good about it. <laughs> All right, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video and gathered a few easy food swaps to implement into your everyday healthy lifestyle. Definitely let me know if you wanna see some more of these. I got so many food swaps up here. We could, we, we can definitely do a part two. So let me know if you wanna see that. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here and watching this video. And until next time, I will see you next time.